Hi team, today we have an interesting problem. I'm going to start by jumping right in and reading the problem. It involves our friendly artist who's painting a mural. Here's the problem. An artist is painting a mural on a four-sided building with walls that are 15 feet wide and 10 feet tall. He still has three and a third of the wall, building walls left to paint, but one-fourth of the building walls are covered with windows. How many square feet still still does he need to paint to complete the mural? This is a tricky problem because first you've got to calculate the total amount of square footage needed. Then you've got to factor in that he still, he only needs to do three and a third of those four walls. Then you've got to figure out that out of that three and a third of those walls, he's only got to do, you know, a certain portion of that because most of it's covered with windows. So, when we think about this problem, we always want to draw a picture. And when we draw our picture, here I draw a picture of the house, I put my measurements, I'm going to be thinking about total area versus, you know, the area that, of that that he needs to solve. The first thing I want to do is write out the picture the long way so I get an idea of what the total amount of the area is. Once I find the total amount, I can find out what each portion of the, of the walls are, and we're looking for three and a third. So I find out that three and a third is equal to only 450, uh, 500 square feet. At this point here, I want to find out three-fourths of 500, because although one-fourth are walls, three-fourths are brick. And when I multiply three-fourths times 500, I've got to make sure that I turn that 500 into 500 over 1, and then i got to reduce. And when I do that, I get 3 times 125, or 375 square feet. I want to take another look at this problem and go through it on live time. So here, we, the first thing I always want to do is I always want to draw a picture. So I have a house here as I'm building. So here I draw the, the building. It's got sides of 10, by five, 10 feet by 15 feet. And there, it's a four-sided building with you know doors and windows. And I'm going to take this into account when I, when I think about the area of the shape. But first, I just get an idea of what I'm dealing with, a building. Now I take this building, and since I'm only focusing on the outer walls, I'm just going to sort of fold it out. So I have wall 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, if this is 10 by 15 each wall, that means this wall has, each, each one of the walls has an area of 150. And that represents a, 600, a total of 600 square feet, or you know, 100% of the area of that wall, of, of all the walls. So I've got to, as a, as a painter, I've got to be prepared to paint 600 square feet of wall. Now, it just so happens that I start the job and I only do a small portion and I come back and I still have to do three and a, a third of the walls left. So that means I still have this portion of the wall to do, this whole wall to do, this whole wall to do, and a third of this one right here. So just a third of that one. What does that mean? What does, you know, three and a half walls, three, uh, three and a third of those walls translate to? Well, if this is 150, 150, and 150, that would be 150 plus 150 plus 150. And what's a third of 150? Because I only have a third of that wall left. Well, that's 50. So we, when we did the calculation, we came out with a total of, you know, I still have to do 500 square feet of wall. Now, we are doing this calculation, and we, we sort of uh, realized that, you know, we have to take into account the fact that there are one-fourth of the space is used up by, you know, doors and windows. So, if that's the case, you know, I don't have to paint that door, and I don't have to paint these windows, right? So I've got to factor in that out of that 500 square feet, only, you know, um, since one-fourth are doors and windows, I only have to paint three-fourths. And when I, when I do that, I'm going to multiply three-fourths times 500, and when I multiply a fraction by a whole number, I always turn that whole number into a, a fraction with, you know, the whole number over one. Okay, 
And when I do this, you know, I'm always going to reduce. So this 500 becomes, I, I reduce this 500 by 4. The 4 becomes a 1, and the 5 becomes 220, uh, 125. Now, 3 times 125, that got us our 375 feet squared. And this is actually the portion that still needs to be painted after we account for the fact that one fourth of the space is still windows and you know doors and whatnot. Team, I hope you found this helpful. I invite, encourage everyone to check out the website gomath.com. There's a lot of great uh, YouTube videos and resource problems that you can use. And if you need help with tutoring or you'd like to attend the Harvard Square or the uh, NEC MTEL Math Workshops, please send me an email via the website or uh, send, shoot a response to this uh, YouTube video. I'd love to have you there. There's still time to register for the July 8th, 2012 workshop. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day, and happy Memorial Day. Take care. Bye-bye.